cancer, diabetes, obesity, hypertension and asthma are all examples of non-communicable diseases and sadly these diseases are the leading cause of death globally. But do they really affect us here in Africa and are Africans really living with these diseases? Find out here at the African NCD Champions Podcast as we share incredible stories of Africans living with non-communicable diseases. My name is Ogweno Steven and I'll be your host. Let's roll! Interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the next question would be in terms of... Uh, your experience, you know, after you then discovered that you are actually living with type 1 diabetes, uh, how has the experience been like, uh, what challenges have you faced, and how have you navigated? Um, it's a roller coaster experience. Eh? Uh, the challenge, first of all, the challenge is um, stigmatization from people. Mm-hmm. Once you reveal to anyone about your condition, normally it's a human nature. Mm-hmm. People, doesn't, people don't look at you the same way they were looking at your treating mm-hmm. you the same way mm-hmm. so we have to adapt to that you can't hold people to their feelings you can't hold people to what they think of you mm-hmm. you live your life you do what is right and mm-hmm. everything will be in shape mm-hmm. another thing is the cost of insulin it's a bit expensive mm-hmm. and um, we have to adapt mm-hmm. and uh, the third thing with living with diabetes, um, the biggest challenge and the scary part of it is the hypoglycemia. Mm-hmm. Once your sugars are low, you really feel terrible about it. You really, it's a really bad experience. Mm-hmm. But uh, we strive to to keep our sugars in check so mm-hmm. that we cannot get fluctuation into our sugar level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's one statement you talked about in the podcast that. Uh, diabetes is in fact a disease of the rich and uh, it sort of brought a very new perspective to that statement so uh, talk to us briefly about that um it is not my quote but before Mm -hmm. i was diagnosed i really knew diabetes is for the rich Mm -hmm. literally even you know about that Mm -hmm. it's a myth Mm -hmm. yeah it's a big myth Mm -hmm. myth. but i tend to 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 think that um, there's another side there's another side to it Mm -hmm. because um Insulin and management of diabetes is really expensive. Mm. Beginning with strips, insulin management, doctor appointments, mm. the tests. It's really expensive. If if you are really poor, disadvantaged, it's really hard for you to to manage diabetes. I mm-hmm. think that's where the word diabetes is for the rich came from. Mm-hmm. You can imagine somebody from disadvantaged areas. Mm-hmm. There, are, there are many disadvantaged areas. Mm-hmm who is diagnosed with diabetes, you need food, you need insulin, you need strips, you need to visit a doctor, mm-hmm. you need to manage it. It's really tough on them. Mm-hmm. So if you really have a supportive people, supportive people in your life, or you know how to manage it mm-hmm. in your own ways, that's really good. But the notion of diabetes is for the rich. Somehow, management, mm-hmm. you, have to be, for the rich. You, you have to be, your pockets have to mm-hmm. be a bit comfortable because mm-hmm. eventually we all know the end product is you mm-hmm. don't manage your sugars really well mm-hmm. yep. and you can develop complications Complication as well, as well yep. okay interesting perspective there so uh, second to last question call to action uh, what's your call to action to say government as I previously have said um, insulin is expensive uh, we need legislation mm-hmm. And uh, control bodies to manage the insulin or the management of diabetes. Mm. That's the first thing, and uh, my appeal to the government or any stakeholders out here. Mm-hmm. Insulin is expensive, management is expensive, and if there is, uh, let me say, like a um, reduction of prices or mm. management, mm. it will be really nice. Secondly, we need advocacy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to, most people don't know about um, diabetes out here. Mm-hmm. Like I can say, my friends, I can tell them about my condition, but they'll be shocked. Mm-hmm. They don't know what to do. They really, I have to like um, take them step by step. Mm-hmm. They haven't known about diabetes. Most of these people tell you that, oh, my grandmother was diabetic. Mm-hmm. I'm not their grandmother. Mm-hmm. It's, it's totally different. It's different scenario. Type one and type two. Mm-hmm. It's totally different. So mm-hmm. you have to uh, put them into like a class, mm-hmm. explain to them 
how to manage how mm-hmm. your situation is mm-hmm. so advocacy is important and awareness us as type 1 diabetics uh, we need to to spread them the knowledge or information about our condition mm-hmm. because um, somebody of them might have in the same symptoms he or she doesn't mm. know where to address how to address mm. but if somebody listens to you if somebody sees you they are a bit motivated if, mm-hmm. if Brian is uh, open about it if Brian is so uh, open and Brian is trying to show us mm-hmm. how to manage it then why not me mm-hmm. so it's like um, advocacy and um, uh, civic education as well as a reduction of prices in management mm-hmm. yep final quote favorite quote and why as always um learn from yesterday live today and uh, hope for tomorrow mm-hmm. it's an albert einstein quote and it really inspires me in my life because as much as we have we are disadvantaged mm-hmm. we we learn from our past and through learning you have to know what is your step what is your next step mm-hmm. we are living for today with all the circumstances that we are in mm-hmm. we have to live life and for tomorrow we have to hope for tomorrow mm-hmm. because as much as we are living now mm-hmm. as you wake up tomorrow you have to thank god and say thank you god and mm-hmm. you live and mm-hmm. hope for tomorrow mm-hmm. yeah interesting so on that end we sort of uh, uh, everybody else go listen to the full podcast on anchor on spotify on itunes on uh, all the other sort of streaming platforms and uh, thank you very much for agreeing oh, to be welcome. on the podcast today yeah all right. I'm really happy to be here mm-hmm. and hopefully we'll see each other soon. Definitely, okay. definitely. Yep. All right. See you on the next one, eh? Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now that was incredible. Thank you for listening in. Share this with your networks and follow us on all social media at Storylink and at NCD Champions. See you on the next one.